So it looks like Kavos just made another video on I'm Alex. It's been a couple years, but he made a video on I'm Alex where he calls Alex out for a variety of different things, such as being hypocritical about not caring about money, possibly being a bad friend, as well as unfairly taking the moral high ground in a lot of situations. And it's something that we need to talk about. And when I look at this story, something that one of my mentors says to me is, on a long enough timeline, everybody is a hypocrite. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And in case you didn't know, I write some books too. So my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is out now. It's available in both ebook and audiobook format. So check out the description and the pinned comment down below if you're interested in checking that book out. All right, so yeah, let's jump into this. And again, I want everybody, when we look at these situations, like to look at yourself, look at your own relationships and things like that. Um, but I like to use what's going on in the YouTube community to kind of give context because a lot of us can relate to things going on. So anyways, just to give you kind of a recap breakdown of what's going on. So Carlos just released a video um, calling out I'm Alex and he calls him out on a variety of different things. So. Kavos and I'm Alex, they, they have a little bit of a history. They used to butt heads a lot. I think I first realized this when I was first getting into YouTube. Um, I think Kavos like, called out Philip DeFranco for Philip DeFranco's like Patreon, and then I'm Alex like, defended Philip DeFranco and said some stuff to Kavos or whatever the case may be. But anyways, Kavos has been sitting back watching this thing go down, and he finally made a video about it. And we're going to touch on different points. I'm going to give my opinions and also just my personal experience with, you know, what's happened in my own life, and maybe some of us can learn from it. Now, one thing I will touch on real quick, like some people tweeted at me, I guess Keemstar uh, and Colossal Clown, like they, they brought back the Baited podcast, and the entire podcast was dedicated to I'm Alex being this terrible person. And let me say this, like just real quick, like... Keemstar talks about how like something happened with I'm Alex three years ago. Three years ago and Keemstar said, you know what? I don't care when it is, I'm gonna expose I'm Alex. Like, yo, talk about holding on to a grudge. Like how many of you out there can relate to that? Like I used to be like that where I would hold on to a grudge for so long and just waiting, waiting for the opportunity to expose like, Yo, that's not healthy. That's not healthy for any of us to hold on to something that long. And it's interesting too, because some of us, you know, we, we get this joy. We're just waiting for someone to fall, waiting for someone to screw up, right? And to get this justice. But in most cases, like the, the, the joy, if you will, that we feel is very short lived. All right, but anyways, one of the main things that Kavos touched on or started his video out with, Keemstar talked about it a lot on the Beta podcast. Um, I'll link both those down below. Like, Keemstar was on one last night. But anyways, um, Kavos talks about how I'm Alex, you know, supposedly says he doesn't care about money, but he sells merch, all right? And this comes from a clip that Kavos took from I'm Alex. For those of you who don't know who I'm Alex is, let me give you a fun fact about him. He's the only human on earth who just doesn't care about money. How much of an incentive is money? Ooh. It's huge for a lot of YouTube, it's massive. I know, I, 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 I literally do not care. I mean, anyone who knows of Alex would say, hmm, that's interesting because his Twitter feed is just filled to the brim with merchandise plugging and just pushing his latest merch. I, know, I literally do not care. Even his header for his Twitter is his merchandise. Wait, but if you don't care about money, why are you making merchandise? And here's here's my opinion on this. All right, like that is such a ridiculous thing to call I'm Alex out on for. Like, it's possible to not care about money. It's possible to not make it your top priority, but to still need money 
to survive, right? Like I'm Alex Cavos, they live in the UK, right? We, you know, I live in the United States, a lot of my viewers live in the United States, a lot of other creators live in the United States. Like we need money to exchange it for goods and services. But when I look at someone like I'm Alex saying that, I'm not hearing, and this is where I think Cavos got it twisted, I'm not hearing, I don't need money, I'm willing to live on the streets in a shack, you know, whatever it is. It means like, this isn't my main driving force. And, you know, if it comes down to it, you know, my, my morals are going to outweigh money. You see what I mean? Because one of the reasons that people are calling I'm Alex hypocritical is because he's called out other creators, I think like Zoella, in the past for the merch that they sell and things like that, or like Zoella had that um, advent calendar that was like really overpriced or whatever that whole situation was, whatever the case may be. But you guys, like, like I can relate because my experience is like I made a ton of money back in the day. Like back in the day, before I got clean and sober, I was making more money than I've ever made in my life and I was absolutely miserable, okay? Like I haven't made nearly as much money since I got clean and sober seven years ago and that's okay. Like I still need money to survive. That's why I have this YouTube channel. That's why I write books. That's why I have a Patreon. That's why I have merch. That's why I have all these other things because I have a son to feed. I have a roof to keep over my head. I gotta pay for gas. I gotta pay for my car. You know what I mean? But I know that money will not make me happy. And something that I try to teach people is something that I learned a long time ago. Money does not make us happy. If anything, money decreases stress. But the more money you get, it it gives you a lot of new stresses as well. And that is what I believe I'm Alex was saying, was that money is not his top priority. So the biggest thing that you know, a lot of people are talking about is the I'm Alex and Slazo situation. So just quick recap, I've done some videos on this, but Slazo was accused of some very serious things. I'm Alex and Slazo were friends. I'm Alex distanced himself from Slazo. Slazo came back and he pretty much showed that, you know, these accusations were false, but I'm Alex kind of stuck to his guns and said, listen, I don't want to be friends with Slazo anymore. And here's the thing, like, as I like, I'm not a fan of Kavos, but like, I get it. Like, and you know, when I saw I'm Alex do that, I'm like, <laughs> but you know, Alex, if you ever watch this, like, welcome to the club, buddy. Like we all screw up sometimes. Like, here's the thing, but, but here's the thing. Like, I'll be completely honest with you. Like I've gone through my own controversies and I saw my friends, you know, or people I thought were friends just scatter and distance themselves from me. So I get it, like I, I had to go through my own stuff at that point and like my therapist or my mentor or just like people in my support group, they like told me that, you know, it A, might be affecting their mental health or B, it might affect their job and their money if they stay in close proximity with me. You know what I mean? And I just had to accept that. Like, I don't like it, I think it sucks. Would I do that to other people? Probably not, but I do empathize and try to understand why someone would distance themselves from me, right? So while I don't agree with what I'm Alex did to Slazo, like, I understand, I get it, you know what I mean? But the other thing is too, like I, I do, like I do agree that I'm Alex's reasoning behind this, like, you know, Slazo admitting to maybe being a controlling boyfriend as a teenager, like, I don't agree with that, but who are we to judge who wants to stay friends with who, who wants to hang out with who, and things like that. You know what I mean? Like, it could be anything. And and plus, like, you know, myself as a commentary channel, all the other commentary channels and people looking at this from the outside, like, there could be other things going on. You know what I mean? But it's, it's who are, who are we to say whether or not you should stay friends with somebody? You know what I mean? Like, from what I've seen personally, like, if I was I'm Alex, like, I'd, I'd really, like, look back on this. Like, maybe he needs a month or two to kind of, like, reevaluate this. But, you know, maybe they'll start being friends again. The last thing that people talk about is correcting old stories. And I'm Alex is definitely not the only one, you know, guilty of this. So people brought up that he had a James Charles video that has like 2.1 million views or something like that. It's monetized, everything. And it was back when the information on James Charles was wrong. And since then, I'm Alex has made update videos, right? And this is a tricky situation. Like commentary channels are in a tricky situation because obviously we talk about topics that are current, that are trending and things like that and stories 
are developing. And some people, they wait, like the right opinion, like he does a great job, like just waiting. Like he is far more patient than most of us out there, right? Where he'll get all the facts and everything. Like something that I've been trying to do, like for example, we just talked about Slazo. I had my original Slazo videos when the allegations first came out, but when that story was updated, I took down my old videos. And in my newest video on Slazo, I explained why I took those videos down. So that is a tricky situation, but it's like, look at channels like Philip DeFranco who cover the news or look at like regular news organizations, right? Like they don't completely wipe the history of what was happening at that time. They simply update the information. You know what I mean? And that is what I'm Alex did. Now, like I look at this with, you know, one of I'm Alex's friends, uh, Ian Aber, who's like uh, awesome. But um, I remember him removing some videos after stories got updated. And I don't know, like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like, I'm interested in what you think. Like, do you think people should just update their stories or they sh should they completely erase those because here's the thing like just to play devil's advocate real quick and like you guys like just watch how the community works and everything because when you delete things like when you completely remove them then you have a bunch of people accusing you of trying to hide something so it's almost like this lose-lose situation. Like something that I've realized as a creator and just as a human being is that you're never going to please everyone and make everybody happy, all right? And the last thing that we'll talk about is, you know, should I'm Alex be canceled because of the Kavos video? Absolutely not, absolutely not. Like I, I fancy myself a decent judge of character and I'm Alex seems like, you know, a young dude who's like trying his best. You know what I mean? And like, oh my God, he's a flawed human who makes mistakes. Like, I can't believe it. You know, here's something that's interesting that I hope more people realize. Commentary channels are almost like, you know, um, I don't even like using this, but like the moral police of YouTube, right? Like commentators, are making videos calling out certain behaviors. And when you put yourself in that position, I've done it as well, right? Like when we put ourselves in this position, even though we might not say it, right? Like Kavos was accusing and Keemstar was accusing I'm Alex of like thinking he's better than everybody and everything. Like I've never heard I'm Alex say, I am better than everybody. Model your behavior after me, right? But when you're a commentary channel, like that is the expectation. Like if you are calling other people out, you are supposed to be this perfect human being. And that's just kind of what blows my mind. Like I've been talking about this a lot on Instagram lately when it just comes to our confidence and our self-esteem. Like when we're, when we're like chasing perfection or we have this idea that we're supposed to be perfect, like we're setting ourselves up for failure. Like, everybody's gonna screw up. Like I mentioned in the, the intro of this video, like something my mentor always reminds me is like, on a long enough timeline, everybody's a hypocrite. Like I heard things in Keemstar's podcast, I don't wanna make this video forever, where he was being hypocritical, right? I was like, wait, you're calling I'm Alex out on stuff that you've done before too. Same thing with Kavos, you know what I mean? And like, this can all go back and forth forever, but the reality is, we're all flawed, we're all gonna make mistakes, we're all gonna do things that some people don't agree with. And here's the last thing I wanna leave you with, all right? Just because you don't agree with somebody does not mean they're a bad person. We need to distance ourselves from this black and white thinking. Like, oh, this person's cool, this person's all right. Oh wait, they said something I don't agree with? They are the most awful, terrible human being on earth. Like, think about how that would, how ridiculous that is. Like, would you ever want to be held to such a high standard where you, you screw up or you make some mistakes or you're not a perfect human being and people are just like, oh my God, this is the worst person on earth? Like, no, that's ridiculous and unfair. And none of us would ever want that. So why do we treat others like that? You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on I'm Alex or just the community or commentary community in general. You know what I mean? That's all I got for this video. And don't forget my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety is out now in ebook and audiobook format. If you want to check it out, down in the description, down in the pinned comment. All right. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring 
ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you haven't yet, if you're one of my beautiful patrons out there, make sure you go check it out because a lot of you get free copies of my new book and I just uploaded them. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.